In this case, the base plate comes out the front, so I had to pull this out the front here. But uh, yeah, I just, you know, I didn't have a clue that I was gonna have to do all this. Ooh, this one be nice. Okay, now that we have this, this face plate open, we're gonna go ahead and get ready to be inserting our drive into there. And I'll pull this camera around so we can get a close look at what we got going on here. All right. What I'll be inserting is the DVD ROM. It's a 52, 32 by 52 times 16 times combo drive. All right. Let's see if we can try and get this in through the front and just get it, you know, get it on top of the guides. Let's see here. Yes. Make sure we eliminate any interference between the case components, this and the other. Be very careful. Make sure all your things line up. Pay attention to what holes you're lining your stuff up to. Take a look at the front. Make sure nothing's protruding unnecessarily. See where the holes on your drive line up. And for the sake of using the flush, they give you the option of kind of like a, a bunch of holes at the top, or no, at the bottom, or a bunch of, or just one uh, long hole where you could put your screws in and be able to adjust it. This is going to be exciting. This is going to be so fun because it's going to be like almost like getting a new PC. There's, you know, and the reason I chose to do the upgrade was for the motherboard that I have, I do give it props. It's actually, um, it's a KAM 800M motherboard and on the motherboard we have a Silver on and let's see, I got screw secure there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I secure another screw to this side and just make sure you know, double check everything's flush and mounted. And uh, let's get them in there. This is a project, you know what I mean, and this is not for the faint of heart, you know. There's a lot of wires. And you could get intimidated, but the the key, the key to my madness is really to find out, you know, what each wire is, and just go ahead on and connect it. All right. Now I'm in the process. What I'm doing is I move the box around so that I can get to the other side and insert some screws to my drive to keep it nice and stable. Uh, Silly me, lost a screw during the process of this, which is not good, but we're gonna, we're gonna find it eventually. Alright ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, uh, I have my, my combo drive firmly secured into my new case. Uh, is, I'm gonna be removing this hard drive from this Mahir machine and I'm going to install it into one of the hard drive bays here what we're looking at is probably the top hard drive bay um, so let's hear it ladies and gentlemen now I don't know exactly how this thing is mounted in here but I guess I am going to have to find out as I go 